Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First up, a look at the headlines. Goa dairy milk to cost a bomb. Dairy board decides to raise price by 3 rupees per litre. New prices imposed from Monday, 21st February. 20 more candidates of Parikar led Panji first panel file nominations. NCP to file nominations on Friday. Veteran journalist Rajan Narayan plans to enter the fray from Donna Paula. 10th edition of ICC Cricket World Cup kicks off in Dhaka. Captains arrive at opening ceremony on tricycles. Opening match on Saturday between India and Bangladesh. Sultan Bilari was murdered just because he robbed the shop of Ramesh Naik. Sultan was kidnapped, tortured and beheaded by Bajrangdal activists. Special report by Prudent Media. BPCLA win PSPB chess tournament, defeat IOC in the crucial final round. And Churchill brothers relieved to have taken three points against JCT. Assistant coach Alfred Fernandez says full points at home are crucial. Now the news in detail. Goa dairy milk will cost more now. You have to shell out 3 rupees more for 1 litre of Goa dairy milk. This hike follows a milk price hike in Maharashtra. Goa Dairy Board held an urgent meeting on Thursday and endorsed the new prices. The new prices will be enforced from Monday, 21st February. The meeting of Goa Dairy Board was held on Thursday. It was decided to raise the price by 3 rupees per litre. In Maharashtra, milk prices are hiked by 2 rupees. Goa Dairy imports almost 70,000 litres of milk from Kolhapur to cover the demand deficit. <laughs> These are the current and new prices of Goa Dairy Milk. High fat milk, the current price is rupees 34 per litre and the new price would be rupees 37 per litre that is rise of 3 rupees. The current price of half litre is rupees 17 and new price would be rupees 19 that is rise of 2 rupees. For standardised milk, current price is rupees 15 per half litre, new price would be 16 rupees 50 paise, the rise of 1 rupee 50 paise. The current price of stone milk is rupees 12 for half litre, new price would be rupees 13 and the rise is of 1 rupee. Madhav Sarkari has expressed a need for a subsidy from the government. Sarkari has just cut plan to a direct Ashamka kinds subsidy on Akiva, either Kachis Mahati Madagun Mena. Sarkari said Goa Dairy will consider hike in prices of milk to the local farmers only after considering the proposals in the state and the union budget. A reporter from Ponda Vivek Prabhu. 20 more candidates of Manohar Parikar led Panji first panel filed their nominations for CCP election on Thursday. BJP's Babush D'Souza from Mafsa accompanied them. Till now, 52 candidates have filed nominations from 30 wards. NCP is expected to file their nominations on Friday. Veteran journalist Rajan Narayan is also expected to file his nomination as independent from Donna Paula. 20 candidates of Panji first filed their nomination for the CCP election on Thursday. They were incidentally accompanied by BJP MLA Francis D'Souza, popularly known as Babush in Mapsa. It is the choice of the people. Ultimately, the people give the verdict. Whatever I say is not important. It is what the water feels is important. So they have got a choice now to change. So they, if they want to bring in the change, there's a new panel here, supported by the BJP. Let them vote for them. 
This is a list of candidates who filed their nomination on Thursday. Prabhakar Dongrikar, Ward No. 4, Sheetal Naik, 5, Shweta Lotlikar, 7, Durga Keruskar, 8, Sudin Kamat, 9, Maya Zoshi, 10, Manoj Patil, 11, Vaidhai Naik, 12, Bharti Hebre, 13, Nina Slim Khan, 16, Nilesh Khandeparkar, 17, Ratnakar Fatarpekar, 18, Vivina Dikruz, 19, Shailesh Gadikar, 23, Diksha Menkar, 24, Shubhada Dhon 25, Shubham Sodankar 27, Nivedita Sopadekar 28, Pratima Hubre 29, Rupesh Harlankar 30. The Parikar led panel is headed by Ashok Naik. He has opposed the proposed convention center at the Ionox parking lot. I am a little Fixed deposit people is all going to do a lot of money. And then the municipal tizori cover gili fixed deposit cover gale the provident funda je poisha asa ka jawa khubar. Ani lokam dar pagar dipa poisha na workers bomb marda pagar timer panna mono. Ata yeh boje tizori boje khali alia. Ato ji rina boje korun doilia. Baki tizori khali jao. Rina korun doilia poi no ki koi farik kordlo the sangte gani. Na na. No, 21st February is the last day to file nomination for CCP election. Applications will be scrutinized on 22nd February. After the finalization of the list on 26th, will get their symbols. On the other side, Uday Madkekar has been ordered to appear before the police in market shop scam on daily basis for continuous five days. <laughs> A reporter from Panji Devidas Kamri with video journalist Onkar Farari. The 10th edition of ICC Cricket World Cup kicked off on Thursday in Bangladesh with a colourful opening ceremony at Bangabandhu National Stadium in Dhaka. Captains of all 14 participating teams were brought onto the ground by the traditional Bangla tricycles. The World Cup in real sense will begin on Saturday with co-host India taking on Bangladesh in the opening match. The final will be played on 2nd of April in Mumbai. The heartbeat of this wonderful city of Dhaka felt through the voices of some of the most popular musical stars in the country. And now for a very special guest on tonight's occasion, the mascot for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011, Stumpy. Here he is, full of runs, full of hope, and full of anticipation for the next six, seven weeks, 13 venues, three countries. And Stumpy will be at every venue. Welcome alongside me, one of our guests tonight, as we watch and share this opening ceremony with you. Drew Strauss there of England. England have never won a World Cup, and he'd like to make an impression here with his team. They've had a good year of 2010. Can they, they take this uh, into 2011 as well? They can cause an upset, a smile on the face of the Honourable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina. There's Jimmy Kamande, very popular man amongst his players. Now from the Netherlands, Peter Boren is not here tonight. He's uh, injured, but his place is taken by the vice captain, Baz Zederen. Strong, hard-hitting, all-round player for the Netherlands. They can cause an upset here. Any team can cause an upset, especially in good batting conditions. But what an experience for these teams. From New Zealand, they need to perform. They need to show their country folk back home, and they're a long way from New Zealand. Daniel Vittori. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. We'll be back after a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 